Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to cover some coffee shots of CCSP questions. This is not something a new video I made. I already made similar coffee shots in the past so you can check my previous videos which give you better visibility about the CCSP questions. My name is Prab Nair and for more information you can refer my LinkedIn profile. If you're new to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos related to the CCSP. Without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Thank you. Okay, so first coffee shot, which feature enables the hypervisor to regulate and monitor individual VM activities from outside the virtual machine? It in questions talking about which features enable the hypervisor to regulate. It means feature of hypervisor. So option A, VM introspection. Now what is VM introspection who new to this uh, topic? So VM introspection is a technique for monitoring the virtual machine in a running state. Okay, which is helpful for debugging, forensic investigations, malware analysis and all that. So this virtual machine introspection approach are widely used for security applications, software debugging and system management. And with the help of hypervisor, we can do that. So VM introspection can be a closed option. Audit hook is just a, one of the feature from VM introspection by which we can fe uh, fetch the logs. SIM is a complete solution. Logs is basically a reactive. Question specifically talking about monitoring the individual VM activity from outside the machine. So that is why I am going with the answer which is called as a, a VMI which is also called as a vir virtual machine introspection. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Which technique used by the cloud provider with the level of real time auditing keyword is real time auditing of VM activity specifically VM activity and can help the provider to monitor for and detect suspicious activity within and between the VMs. VM introspection we have already discussed. Option B is audit hook, SIM and logs. Logs are reactive. SIM is basically install to aggregate the logs from multiple system and correlate and provide the unified report. VM introspection also provide the logs to SIM, but here the question specifically talking about techniques. Okay, so VM introspection is again as a best answer because that is a key feature of hypervisor by which we can able to monitor the VM activities in a running state. That is why I'm going with the answer A, A for alpha. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Okay, so which technology is deployed as a very lightweight application with limited computing? Keyword is lightweight and limited computing. Option A, virtualization. Option B, container. Option C, AWS. D Google. So AWS Google is not a technology. It's a solution. So C and D is removed as a company. Virtualization is much heavier than container. So today we basically use container for uh, every solution. So those who are not familiar with virtualization container, let me give you a brief history. Initially what happened when we have a one hardware, it is logically divided into the multiple OS or we able to create a multiple multiple system within a same hardware that is possible with the help of virtualization. Okay. But just imagine why we creating a multiple system because I want to run a multiple environment in that. My requirement now to run a multiple application environment to run the multiple application environment example, I want to run one, one application which is space only take 200 MB. For 200 MB, I'm hosting a 1 GB of logical system. Does not make sense. Unnecessary take space. That's why we basically introduce the concept of container where we have a hardware. Then we have a OS. And then it will basically create a container. A logical environment. So developer will basically create a container in which he will create an environment and in which only he will basically host his application. And tomorrow, if he want to move the environment from one hardware to another hardware, he just need to move this image from one system to the other system. And there he can basically move easily instead in this, he need to move entire machine, which is more expensive. That's why in this case, I'm going with the answer, which is called as a B before container. Let's move to the next coffee shot. 
Okay, it's a very big question. As a web services, an API are publicly accessible. Their security is critical to the resource which they provide access. If API not correctly developed, managed and secure, these interface can be exploit or compromise resulting in a unexpected behavior uh, and potentially unauthorized access. What is the most effective control we can implement to prevent API abuse? So API nowadays used in a cloud for the lot of automations and all that. Now you can see Google map in multiple applications because of the API only. In CCSP, we talk about REST and so from the exam point of view, remember REST is basically used in that case when the bandwidth is an issue and it's a lightweight, but when bandwidth is not an issue, security is a primary thing and XML based requirement is there, we will use SOAP, SAML along with the SOAP we use together. But here the question specifically talking about what is the most effective control? Control we can implement to prevent API abuse. So option A, resilient authentication, Makes sense to make sure only authorized API should be used with the appropriate access control and strong cryptography and real time monitoring. So authentication to ensure that, okay, not random API will be connect access control. If it connect with the proper authorization should be there. If they're passing a data with the help of cryptography, we can pass the data in a secure manner and we should able to do the monitoring. It is more looking like a defense in depth. Option B, resilient authorization access control. What, 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 but what about the data security in that? Because authorization access control, both are same. Strong cryptography with key management. Again, it is only specifically talking about encryptions. Resilient identification access control, strong hashing, bush, but it doesn't cover your real time monitoring. So D is part of a, a B and C part of the A. That is why I'm going with the answer, which is called as a A, A for alpha. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Okay, so question talking about what is the best practice for handling security of data usage in a cloud environment? Option A, data must be accessible to accessible only to those with the business need and handle accordance with the established information security policy. Makes sense because question specifically talking about security of the data, that is the scope of the question. Option B, data must be accessible only to, to those with the cloud need and handle accordance with the cloud access policy. But in this case, business is not mentioned as by end of the day, if I am a data owner, it is my responsibility. I will not be going to decide as per the cloud based function. Option C, data must be accessible to all employee according to cloud policy. But why we only specifically respectively talking about employee here. So three is removed. Data must be accessible only to those with the business need makes sense and handle accordance with the established contract makes sense and information security policy. So one is covered in the four. That is why I'm going with the answer four. So this is all from my side in my coffee shot. Please do check my previous question videos on CCSP. I'm sure that will be also beneficial for your exam preparation. And again, if you're new to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos. Thank you. Bye bye.